At the moment, work is being done at the Institute on Project PK4. One objective will be to study in this manner the transition from laminar to turbulent flow on the microscopic level, one of the large riddles in physics. A mobile unit of PK-4 is already being tested on parable flights. The experiment will presumably be started in 2008 on the ISS. In the electronics laboratory of the Institute, a special control for the instrument was developed. Important demands on the electronic components are small style of construction, low consumption of electricity, little heat development and a vibration resistant construction in order to prevent damage through the rocket's start. Moreover, radiation proof and fit for space travel processors, memory chips and logical building blocks must be selected. The quality standards set by NASA, ESA, DLR or ESO must be considered. The developed electronic components are constructed by the production shop. The electronic boards are usually equipped by means of an SMD semi-automatic tool. The records for this are received from the development software. For the successful equipping of the boards, the application of the soldering paste is decisive. For the positioning of components such as BGAs, whose circuit points are exclusively on the underside, a special positioning tool is used. Concept, design and production are closely accompanied and documented by the quality supervision. X-ray and gamma-ray astronomy, astrophysical phenomena in the high energy field are observed. In the last years, pioneering new insights, especially about black holes and galaxy clusters, were made in this area. Since December of 1999, the satellite XMM Newton, with three extraordinarily strong telescopes, has been in orbit around Earth. The MPE was decisively involved in the development of a new X-ray CCD camera. In the Institute's own semiconductor laboratory, a special 6 by 6 square centimetre large X-ray detector was developed and made. This detector has since been working successfully in orbit. Presently, the MPE is working on a further development. The E. Rosita telescope will consist of seven mirror modules with 54 nested mirror shells and one CCD camera respectively. The telescope will, from 2011 onward, fly on the Russian satellite Spectrum X Gamma systematically perform an image all sky survey and thereby observe about a hundred thousand galaxy clusters. This enables the determination of the structure of the universe both in the present and in the past. 
Information about dark energy and its temporal variations can thus be won. Another important project that is co-developed in the MPE is the X-ray Observatory, XUS, which is scheduled to replace XMM Newton in the next decade. The Semiconductor Laboratory is working on a further development of the proved XMM CCD. The demands on producing such X-ray CCDs are by far higher than in industrial chip fabrication. The complete production consists of about 300 process steps and covers several months. Already during thermal oxidation, the first production step, the quality of the detectors is decisively determined. At more than 1,000 degrees centigrade, the silicon is covered by an oxide film. The further production process consists predominantly of the transmission of the structures developed on the computer onto the silicon disk. The photo varnish is spun onto the wafer and dried. Special carrier arms for transportation enable the double-sided processing of the wafer. Then follows the exposure in the so-called masker liner. Mask and wafer must be adjusted exactly here to each other on a few thousandths of a millimeter. UV radiation exposes the structure of the layout on the varnish. The exposed areas are, at a later stage in the development process, opened and subsequently checked extensively under the microscope. Any discovered mistakes are individually corrected. Now the structured wafer is sent to the ion implantation or an etching step follows in wet chemistry. Further inspections are necessary. For the mode of operation of the detectors, it is essential to know the layer thickness, exactly up to the last millionth of a millimetre on the total wafer surface. After some months of the production process, different areas on the silicon disk must be interconnected electrically. Contact areas for electric connections outward are also required. Sputter process, therefore, a layer of aluminium is added onto the wafer and then structured by photolithography and an etching step. After production, first basic electric tests follow. For this, fine needles are carefully mounted on the aluminium contacts. This cold probe station was developed expressly for the function tests of the XXM CCDs and is now being adapted for tests on the E-Rosita CCDs. These tests take place in minus 80 degrees, the temperature in which the camera will later be used. After qualification, the chips are cut out of the wafer and glued onto ceramic substrates. Using ultrasonic welding, the silicon chips are connected with 20 micron thick aluminium wires to the ceramic. The characteristics of the mounted detectors connected to electronic readout devices are then examined in the testing facility of the institute. To run tests on the devices developed specially in the MPE, the Panther test facility was built in Neuried near Munich. In this vacuum tank, the X-ray source is about 130 meters removed from the test chamber. All systems connected to XMM, including telescopes, cameras and electronics, were thoroughly tested here. Soon, the E-Rosita cameras will pass through an extensive test program here as well. The MPE is involved in many further projects. 
technical know-how is also used in collaboration with other institutes and for industrial purposes. Thus, for example, the X-ray detectors of the semiconductor laboratory are employed in accelerator rings and a plasma source is tested for medical use. Through the close collaboration of research groups and production areas, the Max Planck Institute for Extraterrestrial Physics is internationally at the cutting edge of science and technology.